now. Opening statements today in the trial of Leslie Chance, the former elementary school principal accused of killing her husband back in 2013. For years, prosecutors have said the apparent motive was money. But today in court, they added retribution for Todd Chance's alleged affair. 17's Vanessa Dillon has more from the courtroom. Inside the crowded courtroom of Kern County Superior Court, Judge Charles Bremer, the prosecution and defense laid out their cases for the jury. Arguments that unveiled what could be deemed as a new motive to the 2013 murder of Todd Chance. I anticipate through the evidence in this case that money was not the underlying reason for the murder of Todd Chance. In fact, I anticipate that you are going to hear that Todd Chance had rekindled a romance, a, a texting type of romance with his old flame. Prosecutor to the case and assistant district attorney Andrea Kohler spent the beginning of her opening statement telling the jury evidence goes beyond allegations of a rekindled love. Instead, surveillance dispersed throughout the city also connects Chance to her husband's killing on August 25th of 2013. She goes on to suggest Chance's daughter's reaction to the surveillance video points to her mother's guilt. You're going to hear that when she watched those videos that she began sobbing uncontrollably, put her head down on the table. And when the detective asked her, is that your mother? She said, yes, yes. And then the detective asked her, was that your mother in all of the videos that I've shown you? And her response was yes. But Chance's attorney, Tony Lidget, argued circumstantial evidence is not enough to prove Chance's guilt. There are always two sides to every story. Lydia began by saying Chance never left the house the morning of her husband's killing, adding several relatives and close acquaintances couldn't even identify the person in the surveillance video. He also says Chance's ex and the father of her daughter couldn't make a clear connection. They ask him, he's a CHP officer, or was at the time, or at some point he was a CHP officer, and they ask him, he goes, I can't tell it's her. And in concluding his statements, there was still a piece missing to the evidence in its entirety. The DNA? Wasn't done. We finally put a demand letter just a week ago to the DNA. They're now in the process of doing it. But in the middle of two contrasting arguments, sat a quiet Leslie Janae Chance, stoic yet focused on the arguments presented both against and in her favor. I anticipate when all of that evidence is presented to you, that you will find that the defendant, Leslie Janae Chance, through her actions, prepared a very involved and detailed lesson plan on how to kill her husband, how to murder him. Proof beyond a reasonable doubt is proof that leaves you with an abiding conviction that the charge is true. And unless the evidence proves Janae guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, she's entitled to acquittal. You must find her not guilty. That was Vanessa Dillon reporting the first witness to take the stand today was Marcos Vieira, the man who found Todd Chance's body in an almond orchard off Noriega Road and Enos Lane back in 2013. The trial resumes tomorrow and is set to last through the end of January.